Here we have just a really outstanding Paleo Story Stone Face and Mammoth Effigy from Madagascar. This is a beautifully flaked and etched Paleo Biface. It's a beautiful Paleo Biface similar to Clovis Paleo Bifaces that we find in the Mojave Desert here in California. You can see the etching lines for the hair of the mammoth in the faces. Outrageous. It's, it's been etched a lot. All this is ancient etching. And what we have here is we have also a face looking up from the back of the mammoth. Here's the eye, the nose here, and the mouth. It's looking up. The mammoth is facing this way. So we have a mammoth facing left. Here's its little trunk here off to the left. It's a little trunk off to the left and a face looking up. We also have another face with this, the eye, the nose and the mouth looking down. And we'll take a look at that when I turn this over in just a minute. But you can see all the beautiful, beautiful etching lines. And those etching lines are beautifully engraved into the surface. Those are not flaking scars, those are etching lines. And this has been beautifully flaked and etched out of transparent rose quartz crystal biface story stone from Madagascar. Now here's one of identical shape. This is an identical shaped piece, as you can see. And the one on the left I found in the Mojave Desert on the ancient shoreline of Pleistocene Lake Mannix. This is a Clovis biface, as we'll see in a little bit. And that's a mammoth looking off to the left right here. And it's the same mammoth image here, but this is from Madagascar. This is from Mojave Desert, California. They're both beautifully flaked and very thin <laughs> paleo bifaces. This one would be Clovis origin. This comes from Harvard Hill, a presumed Clovis site in the Mojave Desert. Look at that beautiful, translucent, wonderful. Look at the etching lines. The etching and grooving lines are outrageous. So we have the baby mammoth now facing left. We have a face looking off from the back of the mammoth right here. So the eye here, the nose, and the mouth looking off from the rear of the mammoth there. That face is quite powerful, really. The eye is triangulated there, the nose, and the mouth below. Wow, impressive. Now we have another mammoth image when we view it this way. And we have a face with an elongated eye, a nose, and a mouth looking off from the back of the mammoth. This is a more mature mammoth. This is a, well, this would be the baby mammoth with the short little trunk off to the right now. Mm -hmm. And this would be more of the mature mammoth now facing off to the left. So there's mammoth images in all three uh, directions, but this is the best image right here of the baby mammoth off to the left with the hair tuft above the head, which has all been engraved and etched. Beautiful flaking, very thin, very thin biface. And beautifully flaked on this side as well. Look at all that fine, fine, fine flaking. And look at the etching, the etching of the hair of the mammoth and of the human faces. Just outstanding. Now we have the mammoth facing right. Mammoth facing right. This is the nose of the face looking up from the, from the back of the mammoth right there. Look at that. Just, oh, a beautiful, beautiful specimen made out of Madagascar rose quartz crystal. This was flaked and etched over 12,000 years ago and was left as an offering, likely to the mammoth god, it's just flaked absolutely beautifully all the way around the perimeter and on both sides and it's just fantastic. There we have a face looking off from the back again with the eye right up, right up over here and the nose below and the mouth below that. 
just an outstanding example. And then this is the one I found out at Lake Mannix. It's the same, it's the same image of a, of a baby mammoth looking left. We have another nice baby mammoth here looking off to the right now. Uh, and then we have uh, the face there, the eye, the nose, and the mouth looking off to the right now. And now we have a full-grown mammoth right here facing right with a big sweeping trunk coming down. And we have the uh, same image here on this side. This is an outstanding Clovis flaked biface uh, effigy. Here's another face, eye, nose, mouth, looking off to the left now, which is actually looking up from the back of the mammoth. Here we have the mammoth, and we have a face, eye, nose, the hair tuft. Here is the nose and mouth of one looking forward from the mammoth, or up from the mammoth. So this is a great little biface here from Clovis biface from Harvard Hill, California, and it would be the same the same images we see right here. The same images right here. Now facing, the mammoths now facing off to the right. Here's a couple of more beautifully flaked and etched. This is a mammoth with the eye here, the uh, baby trunk here, coming down to the right. And that's another beautifully flaked biface with a mammoth now facing left. These are all from Madagascar. These are um, a rose quartz crystal, uh, one of the favorite medium for paleo Indians to make paleo story stone face and mammoth effigies. Paleo art, really at its best and most beautiful.